kids miss kulkarni here in this video let's continue with atomic theory and atomic structure and we are going to focus on the periodic table itself so here is periodic table of elements and as you see it has got some vertical columns and horizontal rows the vertical columns are called as groups and they are numbered right from left to right 1 to 3 4 and the last one ends up with group number 18 and the horizontal rows are called as periods before we get to the groups and periods do you see this zigzag line which is drawn through periodic table that's an imaginary line which divides the periodic table into two parts all the elements which come on the left side of that line are classified as metals and elements on the right hand side are classified as non metals what about the elements which are just across around that line those elements are neither metals nor completely non metals in fact they show properties for both metals and non metals we call them as metalloids so we have some examples about silicon germanium arsenic and so on they will be called as metalloids now let's begin with our first group group number 1 and it has got a name the name is called as alkali metals extremely reactive metals then there is group 2 that's called as alkaline earth metals they are reactive but little less reactive than alkali metals and then we are going to switch to group 17 directly that is called as halogens group and the last group group number 18 is called as noble or inert gases all groups are important but we will be talking about these four main groups let's look at the elements from group 3 to group 12 all these elements are called as transition elements or transition metals and they all have little weird different properties and at the bottom we have two rows the top row is called as lanthanides and the bottom row is called as actinides and in fact those are extension from lanthanum and actinium let's compare the properties of group number 1 2 17 and 18 the very first thing is name of the group we know group 1 is called as alkali metals group 2 is called as alkaline earth metals group 17 is called as halogens and group 18 is called as noble or inert gases both group 1 and 2 they are on the left side of that zigzag line since they are on the left side they are metals and group 17 as well as group 18 are on the right side so they are non metals let's move on to the next property it is the state at room temperature metals are solid so group 1 and group 2 will be solid in case of group 17 we have three different things fluorine and chlorine are gases bromine is liquid at room temperature and iodine is surprisingly a solid at room temperature last one is noble or inert gases so no wonder they are in gas state malleable and ductile these are properties for some substances which can be turned into thin sheets or drawn into thin wires which could be those group 1 and group 2 because they are metals and group 17 and 18 they cannot be 
malleable and ductile electricity definitely it will be yes yes for group 1 and group 2 because those are metals and they can be drawn into wires and it is no for a group both 17 and 18 now let's look at the key physical and chemical properties for group 1 the elements are silver color and they are soft for group 2 elements are mostly gray color and hard how about melting point and boiling point it is very very high for both of these okay group 17 and 18 17 is pale colors and they have low melting point in case of 18 they are all gases and melting point is low let's turn to chemical properties now alkali metals are extremely highly reactive and as we go down in the group reactivity increases how about alkaline earth metals they are still reactive but not as reactive as alkali metals reactivity still when we go down reactivity will be increasing about halogens they are highly reactive just like alkali metals and reactivity increases up in the group finally inert gases inert means no reaction so obviously these are not reactive at all okay let's recap with some interesting facts you already know a group in periodic table is nothing but vertical column and what is a period that is horizontal row elements in a group remember group can be also called as a family and in that family elements have similar chemical and physical properties because they are identical they are in family why does this happen it goes back to the electron structure and they have same number of valence electron we will talk about this later on but keep in mind valence electron play a very important role in properties of elements then there are group 3 to 12 and those are the weirdo elements they are called as transition metals what are the properties for these metals they conduct electricity they are malleable they are ductile their boiling melting point is high all these are similar to general properties of metals how they are different the main difference comes with the colored compounds they produce and also unbelievably they are less reactive than alkali or alkaline earth metals let's look at this beautiful picture here are those colored compounds, beautiful compounds which we obtain from transition metals. So we have red color here, that's from cobalt. Then we have orange color coming from chromium. We have yellow color again coming from chromium from chromate. Then we have nickel giving green color, copper giving blue color and then we have manganese here giving purple color so chemistry is no doubt colorful are you excited all right i hope you guys enjoyed the video i will see you in next video until then bye bye